be here, but it's also a great pleasure because it has to do with the 10th anniversary of the Earth Charter. And I must say I was moved by, by what um, the representative of the younger generation said, and she said, the future is what we are doing today. I think she was completely right. And that's exactly the point. You are making choices now, and what you do now is relevant for the future. It's not a matter of discussion of tomorrow, you have to act now. It was a very clear uh, statement. I've just come back from the G20 meeting in Toronto. Um, and this was a summit about the future, about public finances, financial institutions, and getting the economy going again. And of course, we all realize that only sustainable economic growth has a future. And therefore, I hope that when there are next chief tenant meetings, we will have further conclusions on this issue. Because I was disappointed talking about the issue of climate change. We've spoken about it, and there's also a link to what happened, as I said, last year in Copenhagen. I must say things have to change. Because we are living in a world with a financial and economic crisis. But you've always said you cannot separate the financial crisis of the other issues. Issues around poverty, energy, uh, the dollar round, climate change. All these issues are interconnected. And if you want to work on a strategy, then it's important that you have to create links between these different issues so that you can have new solutions, new ways of thinking. That's what has been said also on the podium. Uh, you can take benefit of creativity. That's really necessary. And what really keeps me busy is that when there will be a new meeting this year in Cancun, in Mexico, what will happen then? Are we able to take the right choices? What type of conclusion will we have? Of course, our intention, and it means in any case of Europe, is to have a binding agreement, but we know all how, what happened uh, during the last important session in Copenhagen. Of course, there has the agreement about financing of the climate policy internationally, that's okay. But it's not enough. And I must say, for me, then, I'm here for a few hours, being here and listening to you, and I must say I was moved by what we heard of Arvind Sukhumdorf, the story of his life, the message of young people, talking about creativity, talking about the future. I think it was so inspiring. And if there will be a new meeting, I think we need not only the policy aspects or talking about documents or conclusions, you need to begin with something else. And that is inspiration. So therefore, it, it might be a good idea to oblige all the heads of government to visit a, uh, a meeting, a session about the Earth Charter.